Okay, so this video shows you how you can organize your pictures into folders in Windows 11. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video shows you how you can organize your photos into folders in Windows 11. Now, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to put them in folders? Well, it just keeps them neatly together. So if you've got a set of pictures which relate to one particular theme or a holiday or a, a particular pet or something like that, you can put them all together in one yellow folder. So it keeps them together, makes them easier to find at a later date. I mean, obviously when you load your pictures onto the computer, they go into the pictures folder, but eventually there's gonna be thousands of pictures for you to wade through in that folder. Wouldn't it just be much easier to be able to go to a folder and get to that set of photos? Well, like I say, I'm gonna show you how you can do that right now. So. First of all, we need to get to our pictures folder. So just open up any yellow folder on the desktop or on the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. So just click on any yellow folder and there you should see down the left hand side your pictures folder. Or if you've gone to home, you should see pictures just up there. OK, so if you're going to it from the, the, the larger icon there, double left click. If you're going to it from the smaller icon on the left, single left click. So there we go, we're now in the pictures folder. And as you can see, I've got quite a few pictures in there. Now, I wanna put those pictures or some of those pictures together. So what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna to need to create what's known as a folder to put them in. So all we do is we just move our mouse over that new, just up there in the top left-hand corner and particularly move your mouse over the arrow pointing downwards. Left click once, and there you go, we'll actually get a list come up there. So we wanna create a new folder. So move your mouse over folder, left click once. As you'll see, new folder appears and new folders highlighted in blue. This means that it's asking us to overtype the word new folder and give it a name that's applicable. Well, I've got some pictures of a rainbow in amongst those pictures and I wanna keep those separate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type the word rainbow. And as you can see there, as I've typed it, the word new folder has disappeared and it's been superseded by the word rainbow. So now I just press enter or return on the keyboard and that's confirmed that that's what we want to call that folder. Now, if you did want to rename that folder at any time, you can move your mouse over it, okay? Right click once and then click on this little symbol here with the A, that's rename, and you can just change the name. So I'll just call it New Rainbow or Rainbow 2018, because that's when I saw it. So uh, you can edit it in whichever way you feel fit, but once you've typed in what you want to type in, you want to confirm it or name it, press enter or return on your keyboard. So now how do we move these pictures of the rainbow in? to that particular folder. So what we're gonna to need to do is gonna to need to scroll up to the pictures that we want, the little thumbnails with the file names below them. Okay, and what we need to do is, before we click on one, we need to hold down the CTRL key on the keyboard. That's the key on the bottom row of keys on the keyboard, furthest towards the left usually, and it's labeled CTRL or Control. So hold that down, and just click once on each of the photos that you want to copy. So I want this one, I want that one, I don't want that one, I want that one. Okay, so once you've done that, once you've clicked on each of them, take your finger off the control key and then click the right mouse button. That's the right mouse button. You'll get this menu come up here and we're looking here for the scissors just up there. So left click once on the scissors. That's the cut command. Let's move down to Rainbow 2018. What I need to do is move my mouse over it and double left click to actually go into the folder named Rainbow 2018. As you can see, I'm in there because I've got Rainbow 2018 at the top. Next thing I wanna do is just find a blank area. And obviously this is, there's quite a lot of blank area in here because the folder's empty. Click on again, the right mouse button and then you'll get this menu appear and then click on this 
a symbol just here. That it's the clipboard with a bit of paper, and that's the paste command. So click that, and there we go. It says this destination folder is a subfolder of the source folder. Are you sure you want to do this? So I'm just going to say skip. And there we go. The pictures have now appeared in the rainbow folder. So if I just go back, so let's just press the back button there. As you can see, the three photos have, have disappeared. OK, but if I go into rainbow, there we are. They're all in rainbow. If I click the back button again and I want to transfer some other pictures into this folder, I can do that. And all I need to do is once again, there's a couple more pictures of the rainbow just there. So I can hold down the CTRL key, click once on each of the photos I want to put in there, then let go of the CTRL key, click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse. Click on the scissors, which is the cut command, and then double click on Rainbow 2018. So we go into the folder there, find a blank area, click the right mouse button, and then click on the clipboard with the bit of paper. That's the paste command. So click on that. Okay, and if you get this message come up, the destination folder is a subfolder of the source folder, just go skip. That's fine. And there we go. That's pasted those pictures in there. So they're in there together now. Now, if I wanted to, say, move some photos into a folder from a, another area, say if I've downloaded some um, photos, if I click on the downloads folder, and as you can see there, there are three photos just at the bottom there, which I don't know what they are. I'm just going to double click on them and have a look. So if you get this come up, I'm going to select photos. I'm going to let photos basically open up my pictures makes sense so click on photos and then click always that's if that appears and there we go there's our photo there so let's just go to the next photo there are pitch, uh, pictures three pictures of a waterfall so what if we want to move these into a folder called waterfall so let's just come out of the photos app and I'm going to go back into pictures okay and I'm going to create another folder so I'm going to go up to the arrow just to the right of new there left click once go down to the folder the word folder left click once and let's just call that waterfall so just start typing waterfall and that was in 2018 as well press enter or return on your keyboard once you've typed in the name and there you go that just confirms the folder name so what we want to do is we want to go back to the downloads folder now it could be any folder that these are in and again we want to hold down the ctrl key and just click on each of the photos that we want or the file names that we want then click the right mouse button that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse and then click on the scissors just down there they might be at the top there in some cases but click on the scissors that's the cut command and that's a left click and then we go into pictures okay and then we go into waterfall 2018 that's the folder we just created so just double left click that once uh, twice sorry and then right click again and then we're looking for this paste command, which is the clipboard with a bit of paper. Left click once on that. And there we go. The pictures are now in a folder called Waterfall 2018. So there you go. That is just one of many ways that you can move photos into folders in Windows 11. I'm just showing you this particular way because it tends to work in whatever section you're in in Windows 11. So I hope you like this video. And if you did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Whilst you're here, hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you like this video. And if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing, and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.